Hey guys, it's Caleb at Prehired again. Today we're doing another Prehired success story. Today we got my good friend Juan Arcila from Boston, Massachusetts on today. He just got hired to a top sales team and today we're gonna to hear his story. So Juan, if you want, tell everybody a little bit about what were you doing before Prehired? What's your background in? Sure, well, thank you, Caleb. Uh, I just gotta start off saying that I'm eternally grateful to Prehired for all your support and guidance. I'm originally from Tampa, Florida. And uh, I've had experience in higher education, being a recruiter at a university. I worked at a call center doing 70 plus call calls per day. And uh, my most recent job was in a nonprofit doing fundraising and educational sales. So that's my background. Amazing. What would you say was maybe your biggest career struggles like before you found pre-hired? I would say advancements. You know, in the nonprofit world, it's, it's a great gig for people that's want to connect with the mission. So it is very fulfilling and that definitely aligns with my personality and values. Uh, but I didn't see that advancement opportunity. I feel I peaked in the nonprofit and higher education world and I was ready for that next challenge in my life. And that's why I was drawn to the world of software sales. Yeah, absolutely. Now, did you try to maybe solve those struggles before you found free hire by chance? You know, I try to kind of look up videos on my own, uh, different online courses. Um, I try to take different trainings on like CRMs, like Salesforce and things like that. Uh, but I didn't have anything like cohesive, a network of people to like take me step by step into the world of, uh, of tech. So yeah, it wasn't working out on my own before. So you ended up funding pre-hired. I got to ask, I like to ask everybody this. Most people have hesitations when they first hear about that so what were your thoughts and your feelings when you first came across pre-hired yeah I was certainly skeptical I'm not gonna lie for sure very skeptical um, but I did my due diligence I did my research you know I, it sounded a little bit too good to be true but after I looked at the testimonials the reviews I looked at the curriculum I looked at the FAQs on the websites um, it just made sense to me it's something that I really connected with and um, I thought it was very authentic after doing my research and hearing from other people. Absolutely. So you made the decision to join. And when you joined, how long did the program actually take you? Well, I was working full time as well. So that's something that I appreciate about pre-hired that uh, you guys are very flexible with the timeline. Uh, you work with the members um, according to their work schedule and it's all online. So you can do it on your own time, on your own schedule. So with my um, advisor, we initially set a goal for 10 weeks, but I was able to knock it out within eight weeks. That's amazing. Now, what would you say, you've been through the entire thing now, what did you enjoy most about the program? Man, that's a loaded question. Can I say everything? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course yeah. you can. <laughs> Yeah, but I guess to be more specific, I loved how comprehensive it was. There was no stone left unturned. Um, I love how the whole curriculum was set up. You start out with the basics. Here's the tech stack of an SDR. And then you talk about everything, lead generation, lead automation, um, how to do research into your prospects, um, everything that you need to know as far as the software. And then, of course, the skill sets, uh, the mindset of a salesperson. So it all builds up on one another. And every time I had a question like, oh, what about this? The next video would cover that. So I just love how comprehensive it was. Absolutely. Cool stuff. Now, I like to ask everybody this as well. Um, this is how we get better. Is there anything you feel that could have been better about the program? Uh, you know, honestly, like if I would say anything, it would be just nitpicking different things. Like I, I think you guys have an incredible program as far as the curriculum, <laughs> Uh, that accountability groups. Um, I, like I said, I just have to nitpick, but maybe setting up some sort of like role play time for your the Slack cohorts. I love the accountability. That's also something that I love about the program, but maybe it's like, hey, if you guys want to role play on your own, not just with your mentor, your connector, um, how about we set that up so you guys can role play for your interviews or if you're already an alumni, you can practice cold calling and things like that. So that just some extra added bonus thing that I would just think, but again, that's just nitpicking different things. Oh, absolutely. I love that idea. I'll definitely mm -hmm. bring it to Josh's attention. Um, can you talk about what was the transition like from completing your coursework to the career search itself? What, what yeah. was that like? It was very smooth. 
very, very smooth. After I talked to my mentor, he connected me with you. Uh, we jumped on a call a few days later um, and we didn't actually jump in right away to the career search process. We still got to know each other. We still practice role playing, both for um, cold calling and just interviews. So I felt like I was prepared and confident to go into the, the career search process. So I love that gap between completing the coursework and then actually starting the CSP. That was a really good smooth transition. Awesome, awesome. What about getting hired? Tell us about what was it like getting hired? What did you get hired to? And just tell everybody about that experience. Sure, well, it's the feeling that you get when you cross the finish line, man. Like, it, it, was, it was definitely an interesting journey. Like, it was, took a lot of work, um, a lot of applications, uh, a lot of energy. Uh, but man, it was incredible. Like I applied to, I think I would say in total 18 different applications. And then I got maybe like nine callbacks for interviews or next steps. Um, and then I ended up getting uh, five interviews in the final stages. Um, so I applied to Wistia, a company called Midhub, Veracross, Gravity, and ZoomInfo. And uh, Wistia was definitely at the top of my list. And uh, I ended up getting an offer from them yesterday and I accepted. So I'll be joining them on August 11th. Super, super cool. Juan, <clears throat> let's say there's another Hawaiian RCL out there. Maybe he's just stumbled across pre-hired and, you know, maybe he's got a lot of thoughts and feelings in his head, like maybe this could work, but he's got a lot of hesitations, right? Because we all do when we first see it. What would you, what would you say to him if you could? I would say to jump into it. This is an investment in your future, in your professional development. Um, and there, there's a cost to that. There's a cost in time, there's a cost in money and in other resources. But what's the return that you can get from doing this? Don't try to do this on your own. That's the dumbest thing that you could possibly do. And many people make that mistake. It's gonna cost you a lot of time and the opportunity cost for that time turns into money. So it would be a lot more expensive than whatever investment you're going to make in pre-hired and it's a fair investment because you have this for life. It's not a transactional service or product that you purchase at once. You continue to evolve. The organization continues to evolve. The members continue to evolve. So uh, it's a no brainer. And I encourage you to reach out to other members. Um, I hope you can put my phone number or my contact information in the website, reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to share my experience as well, but absolutely. I endorse it 100% and I recommend anybody that's serious about their careers to join pre-hired. Ladies and gentlemen, you have heard from Juan Arcila. Juan, really appreciate you being with us here today, sharing your story. I know you're a completely busy man now at your new job, so we really appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. Thank you, Caleb.